Every day, life as we know it keeps evolving. Artificial intelligence is continuously changing the way we do things, thereby rapidly advancing technology, which will impact directly on the future. At Union Bank, we think ahead. We believe that an investment in the future yields the best interest. That is why we have plugged into the future through our Edu360 platform. The vision behind Edu360, I would say, is in three parts. First is access. You know, we think about access as very critical because we know that access to quality education is an issue for us in this environment. Um, secondly, will be action. You know, as a bank, uh, we are a financial institution. And so uh, action in that regard will be providing innovative financial solutions to drive education. And then finally, will be advocacy, which is championing causes to drive um, education within Nigeria. Our resolve to drive innovation that impacts the future is evident in the EDU360 partnership with Awari, a world-class robotics company in the just-concluded first season of the search for the next robotics legend. So the next robotics legend um, program is a partnership between Union Bank on our EDU360 platform and Awari. The partnership between Union Bank and Awari is um, a match made in heaven. I don't know, it sounds cliche. For us, we couldn't think of a better partner um, to take that journey with by improving the lives of those children and improving, you know, education at, at large and giving children that opportunity. From across Nigeria, Union Bank and Awari brought together the most innovative young minds in a contest that has put Nigeria in the robotics and artificial intelligence race. Oscar, one of the contestants in the first season of the search for the next robotics legend, is one of Nigeria's youngest inventors and innovators. My name is Dachiko Oscar Obiako, and I love robotics very much. Dachiko is a very creative child. He knows how to draw. He draws very well. He moved on to modeling. When my child got into the program, I was very, very happy because first it gave him a boost of confidence that he was competing on a bigger platform and be able to express himself and learn new things. I actually started when I was in year four. That was when I learned the first thing about robots. What I felt about the program was that it helped to expand my knowledge about robotics and it was a good foundation for me. My name is Mujin Radishno. I am an author and illustrator, and a programmer, and I am the youngest Nigerian OEP. I started my journey as a programmer two to three years ago. The first time I learned coding, which was I used Scratch. So I've gone a bit further with illustrations. Now I'm going to animations with Scratch. As a dad, we saw Mojo as someone that is creative. She's also multi-talented. How I felt when I heard about uh, Mojo um, being chosen for the Union Black Hawari Challenge, I was so excited. It was like a dream come true. My name is Nkechi Sicheli. I work with Peers Africa Foundation and serve as a mentor for Nosirat Aladi and Lady Joy Umwala. What made this uh, program uh, very appealing to me was how it was able to build up their creativity and thinking ability. We were asked to think outside the box and this was due to the fact that we were asked to prefer solutions to problems in our society and this could only be achieved if we were able to think critically and to be able to pay rapt attention to things happening in our community. So I'm very interested in robotics and artificial intelligence because I would like to solve problems in my community and also help in the health center and educational system to improve it. My name is Ole Joshua and I'm 15 years old. I just get admission into the university and I love robotics and artificial intelligence because it's my passion and I love the way the program gave me the opportunity to merge my theoretical learning of robotics, the practical aspects because of the Mecca mode they gave us. My name is Dr. Kwashiro. Okay, one of the key things that I learned. I learned about more about 
coding another thing i learned was about more basics about robotics the origin how we started from the types classifications um how to properly build a robot steps taken in building a robot the person that won this uh this competition is what the winner will get is you know one-on-one -on -one time and mentorship from hawaii Meet the robotics legend for the first season, the incredible Ifeolua. My name is Ifeolua Lusanya. I am 12 years old now. I come from a family of three. My hobbies are watching TV and playing games. When I found out that Ifeolua was one of those chosen for the program, I was really excited because I know that is what is always wanted to do. Ifeolua has always um, loved anything technology, IT related since I was a child. I remember then he never really played with toys like other kids. Then I found out that I won. I was very, very happy and I was so excited. We actually promised him that we would take him to meet Silas at definitely. It has been indeed a successful and eventful first season. A story of building a legacy, one milestone at a time. We had over a thousand students apply for this program initially, and then we picked 25 students. I believe the 1,000 who applied, we have been able to uh, sow a seed in them to solve problems. They have came up, they came up with solutions, and the last 25 also, we believe they are uh, like the, the apostles now, which will spread the seed, to spread the word spread knowledge of STEM and also the interest. So we believe we'll be able to create an army of problem solvers who are going to solve the Africa's problem in the future. They did a lot of um, critical thinking um, classes, activities that also shaped her mind. Each time she sees the problem, she sees a robot. And that for me is fascinating. Personally for me, I was emotional and that's because I heard from the children and their parents, how this program has, you know, changed the way that they even view life, how it has helped them to be able to understand and choose their career path. How my child developed over the course of the program, fantastic, in leaps and bounds, it even amazed me. I mean, be able to transfer theory knowledge into practical knowledge was a big experience for her. Now that the search for the Necrobotic Legend program has ended, with the knowledge I've gained, I'll be able to practice it more with the help of my parents. Robotics and AI is the future. That's how problems get solved. That's how complex social problems around here and in other parts of the world get solved. And that's why we've really honed in on robotics and AI as a tool to upskilling up you know, young people and helping them develop innovative solutions that will be profitable and beneficial on the social side as well. The acceptance of robots will really elevate our status. These robots, really, they need to be serviced, they need to be maintained, they need to be programmed, they need to be fed data. So these are job opportunities that are opening up. It is high time that people who are focused on such um, roles upskill themselves, you know, to better position themselves for this that is to come. Let me tell you something. I see robotics and AI taking over the future in every aspect of work and life. So you better be prepared to be working with robots in the very near future. I'm proud to be part of the search of the next robotics legend. Thank you, Union Bank, for giving us this opportunity. Thank you, Union Bank, and I'm worried for this wonderful opportunity. It allowed me to win the first search for the next robotics legend. The next robotics legend is not a one-off. Edge 360 as a platform, we don't typically do things that are one-off. We hone in on a particular area where we can drive impact consistently. And that's just the first phase. We're going to continue to do bigger things, you know, in the future. Now we started with training 25 um, students and we're taking that to schools in 2021 and we'll continue to have the open program and definitely robotics and AI and gaming, as you hear about in, in 2021, is another area where we really focused on one and we're going to continue to do uh, more of this so it's only going to get better from here on out.